I've got it. Okay, uh, Kevin O'Pally, uh, hail from Ashburton, New Zealand, which is 40 minutes south of Christchurch, uh, 33 years old, uh, started refereeing in 2000, uh, still playing at the same time, so made a decision to referee. Um, first international was in Auckland, or Test Match Status International was Auckland, New Zealand in 2009 at the same event as this one. Um, what else? Did you do something special to, to get selected here? Uh, pretty much just, yeah, where you got ranked uh, with the last secondary schools. Um, being in the, obviously in the top 10 was always a, a good thing to do. But um, training wise, probably five times a week, maybe six times a week leading into this event. Uh, making sure you had enough rest as well as enough fitness work. Uh, with touch being in the off season for us, we basically hadn't had any games leading into this, so not ideal preparation. Uh, but mentally, we sort of had the focus to get into it. Um, previous events, uh, I've been to Fiji, Samoa, the Cook Islands, um, done two South Pacific games, and this is the second Trans Tasman series that I've been in. What is your goal? In touch? Um, goal is probably to stay injury free, really. Uh, when I have no aspirations to be number one in New Zealand, just a consistently good ref. Um, as you always look for the perfect game of touch, um, which probably will never happen, but it is something to aim for. Um, so yeah, I just basically do touch to enjoy it. Uh, meet people all over the world, um, and that's probably the main thing we, we do for touch, is increase our touch family by uh, meeting more and more people. Thank you. Hi, I'm Michael Winter from Hamilton, New Zealand. Hamilton is about an hour and a half travel down from Auckland. Um, I'm 23 years old and I've been ripping touch since about 2000 as well, same as Kevin. Um, this will be my second international series. My first was, in, no, this will be my third, sorry. My first was in 2009 in Wollongong, Australia, where I did the mixed open games, I think. The open Trans Tasman. And I did the return series in Auckland, New Zealand, and now this moved my third and my first youth Trans Tasman. Um, to prepare for this tournament, I um, ensured that I was refereeing at a good standard um, at our secondary school competition, which is where selections are made from and it just kept fit and, and healthy during the summer, Christmas period. Um, and also I think it's important to keep a good positive frame of mind coming to tournaments like this. So I've made sure I've done that and, and time will tell within the next two, three hours of, of how I've achieved that. <laughs> um, uh, future aspirations I think for me to, um, is just to keep on referring touch at, uh, at a high standard um, and I, I want to achieve and, and keep refereeing at an international standard for, for a few more years. Um, yeah. I've got one more question which is um, the touch season finished in March and the World Cup will be in June. How will you do to keep your level during this time if you want to go to the World Cup? Doing two, two or three months without touch. Oh, yeah. Building, building into any event, um, it's about preparation and not peaking too early. So you'll probably relax and um, chill out a wee bit at the end of March. Make sure you've got no injuries, and then slowly build up um, the process from there. And just make sure you're probably not going to get a lot of touch. So mental preparation is probably the uh, the main thing for most refs. As long as you go over there confident and mentally prepared and physically prepared. Um, it's like riding a bike, as soon as you get out there you pretty much know what you're going to be doing, so preparation mentally and physically and you'll be sweet. I think as Kevin was saying, it, it works out for as a very long touch season for us, starting in November, December, right through till um, effectively our season won't end until June. Um, so it's a matter of, like Kevin said, peaking, peaking at the right times and I think this is part of the process of, of building towards our our main focus, which I suppose could be the World Cup in June. Um, so I think just keeping fit and, and staying mentally focused on, on what we want to achieve come the end of June, then I'm sure we'll be alright. Okay, 
See you there. Thank you. Thank you.